First of all, cheers. Uh, it's great, I think it's week 3 or 4 now, I think. Um, yeah, The lineup is uh, very different, so uh, it was, we had no idea what to expect, to be honest, from this tour. And uh, a lot of shows are sold out, we didn't have any disaster shows, so to say. So it's going really well, um, we get along with the other bands very well. It's a fun package, we enjoy the other bands, hanging out with them and also checking out the shows. The Sepultura crew is so nice to us, and also Sepultura, Sepultura itself, it's such a nice band, it's just a great opportunity to, I don't know, hang out and play with your know, childhood heroes uh, every night, and mm. yeah, it's fun. And of course, it's like for us a tour that we want to gain uh, new fans and we want new people to listen to us, and I think so far that works out pretty well. Sweet! done every song uh, like the whole album the mastering mixing everything is done the artwork is done everything is done basically uh, and right now we're discussing with the label when it will come out i think i can already say that it will come out in summer and right now we have like a list of release dates and we need to figure some stuff out uh, what makes sense with touring and, yeah it's just a matter of business topic now, yeah. But, yeah yeah it's a business topic but it will come out in summer and yeah so I'm sticking, more than excited about that. It's sticking to the schedule yeah, yeah. as it started yeah. out. Cool. We are pretty busy right now. Uh, we, after this tour, we uh, have a tour in Japan. And uh, we also have our 15th oh anniversary gosh. show in our hometown. Oh, so in Lansing? In Lansing, exactly. Yeah. Like in the middle of fucking nowhere in Germany. <laughs> um, yeah, that's what will happen. And then it's actually time for them. For, uh, that we can concentrate on the album promotion and we also made a video clip already uh, we shot a video clip already and let's see when that comes out i think about april also work out. Let, let's see like there's something we need to discuss with the label but yeah and then like the whole promotion uh, starts for the album and then when it comes down in summer we have some festivals in europe that we play and then uh, our plans to uh, tour in the us in uh, autumn and in europe at the end of this year or in the beginning of next year, so we keep on being busy. That was going to be a question. There was a problem before with visas uh, when it came, so that's all sorted out now. And uh, everything yeah, is. yeah, we had a big problem with the uh, uh, visa agent that we had. We paid him a thousand euro for uh, getting us visa, and he didn't. And uh, yeah, it's a lot. It's it's a still a lottery. Like you never know for sure if you get in. And the last time. It, uh, what was the problem? I think there was also a computer problem in, uh, in, um, in some places and they like, couldn't do anything for one month mm. and that took it again the visa process back and but we were really early actually and it didn't work out and this time we're even more early so yeah, yeah. right now like for it we don't even have a package for September but we like pretend to have it already to get our visas yeah, yeah. so we really tried everything. It's not an orchestral album at all. It's not okay. symphonic, nothing like that. It's actually way more punchy than the album before, and uh, there's only one part in one song that has strings, mm -hmm. and uh, it's a small like the I don't know. It just means a lot to me that I'm on an album with my father yeah. because yeah. it was so obvious. Actually, he's a very active classical musician, and he was pretty famous also in Germany for a long time. He had his own orchestras and. Um, He's also a professor at Munich University for over 30 years now. So oh wow! And we played already concerts together, actually, yeah. another um, with another band that I had before. Um, but we never were on any record. So uh, this was right now he's you now 73, I think. So it was the perfect opportunity. Wow. Now, so, okay. <laughs> it's just that small part in that album, but like let's do this. So we yeah, yeah, did yeah. it. So yeah, that's yeah. what happened. And also uh, he, he plays violin. And uh, we have also um, Jonas Baumgartel playing cello, which was one of the first drummers of the band. It was in the oh, band for quite some time. Yeah. That was me. 
my, ma my father was uh, very close, and, you know, just talked to him about the opportunity, and he loved it. And actually, uh, one day before he played a concert very close, and uh, I went to the concert and watched it, and then we slept in the same hotel, and on the next day we went yeah. to the studio, and he could stay there. It was, it was a good experience. Yeah. Of course, it's like the big bands that we like to tour with because I, I think we tour a lot with technical death metal bands, and we like we just realized now putting packages together like oh fuck we had a lot of bands already, <laughs> and it would be great. Now the Sepultura tour is a great chance. That's why we do it, like to get new uh, listeners for our music. And I would love to tour with progressive bands that I think we could tour also with like Opeth or Gojira and stuff. I think we could be such a good lineup like that. as well. That yeah, would be amazing be great. I would like love to do that. Like I'm not Stefan so I don't know exactly why he's selling it, but I also know that he hasn't sold it yet because it, like he set up a pretty high price. Yeah. Oh really? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but one of the reasons is he doesn't need it anymore about the food, I guess. So um, the reason why he switched to ESP is because he didn't have a very good relation with Ratten Guitars. Actually, he uh, um, did a lot for them. We always made pictures, he made videos for presented products, and they didn't, didn't get back to him a lot of times when he sent messages. And when he needed a new guitar, it took two or three years, and yeah, he had to yeah. ask all the time, what's going on with my guitar? And, like, their business relationship was just fine. Yeah. So, uh, and then the opportunity with ESP came up, and they said, hey, we know this shape of your guitar is a very important trademark of yeah. your We make you a custom guitar that has the same shape, but we will treat you well and we build this guitar with you with everything that you want to have in this guitar. So it's a, a custom made guitar and so it just makes sense. And people, I know a lot of people are afraid that because right now he's playing with a white ESP guitar, a like pretty normal shape, and yeah. people are like, oh no, what happened? I, I, <laughs> I mean, I don't understand that so much, why like the look is more important than the sound of the guitar, which is, in yeah. my opinion, way better than the guitar before, but yeah. But, yeah. Anyway, the shape will come back, and it will be a better sounding guitar, I guess. Also, the shape is, so this is temporary. Back. Yeah, thing. it's temporary. The, the shape that he has right now is temporary. Yeah. Oh, it's oh, I thought His custom guitar is building, right? Like, his custom guitar with that other, with that old shape is built right now. Yeah. Oh. But okay. I don't know when it will be ready at, at the end of the year or so. Because I thought it was, there was an interview I seen before where he said, um, that the round guitar he had was, it was very heavy and it was too sore in his back oh, yeah. or something. Also so I thought that, maybe that was yeah, that why maybe, he... Yeah, Go right that was also one of the reasons I think I never uh, fucking know. <laughs> Exhausting. Also, the albums will come out pretty much at the same time. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. The Echoid album will come in May, and I guess Obscura's album will come in June or July. Um, yeah, and the recordings were like one after another. At first, I recorded the Echoid, and then Obscura and it was very intense that time. So, did you have to switch mindsets? Yeah, pretty, pretty much. Uh, in the term of Obscura, it was also very hard because in Echoid, I don't do any songwriting, I just write my bass lines. And uh, in, uh, in Obscura, I write a lot of songs also. And, like, we needed to finish the songwriting more or less while I was recording for Echoid. It was oh, pretty exhausting, <laughs> but it worked out. Sounds and I'm very happy with the bass work in both albums, fortunately, because Dan I would have felt like that I didn't do it 100% with any of the Yeah, album, yeah, yeah. It's not the case. It was just a stressful time, but that's something I'm used to. So. Well, it sees the moment. That's it. Um, Echoid tour. Oh yeah, is it happening or is uh, that I hope so. Right now we are actually, um, I know we are in contact right now with some bookers about some opportunities, but uh, we all said, okay, we don't want to start from, like we, everybody of us said, like uh, a couple of bands started from the scratch and we don't want to pay anymore to, to tour. We're just too old for the shit now and mm -hmm. we only want to do tour opportunities that make a lot of sense for us and that, that is not... I don't know, not, not, where not everybody will lose money, it's just it's not what we want anymore, so if there is an opportunity, I would love to do it, I also hope that uh, with our new labels, uh, Season of Mist, that we have a good relation with, um, and they come up with maybe some ideas, and, uh, but I'm not so much involved in the business, and I feel like we, of course, we like so much, much. Anyway, yeah, I, uh, that was actually my, like, one of the, when, I, when they asked me to join the band back then, and it was still in Obscura, I said, like, okay, I play the bass and I help a little bit out with the website and stuff like that. But oh, because you do web design as well, also, don't yeah. you? Well, for me right now, everything.
everything is obscure pretty much, and uh, the promotion of Alkaloid also, I think Hannes and the senior Morian will, like, they will do most of that, I guess. Um, yeah, and then I, I don't know what happen, what will happen with tours and concerts with Alkaloid, but, like, I don't... If it happens, I'm super happy and I will do it, and we had concerts with Alkaloid already we played in Ireland, actually. Uh, when? Yeah. What? <laughs> uh, two years ago we played, yeah, yeah. yeah. Maybe that was Voodoo. No, no, the blue launch? No, no, that wasn't a uh, I'm not sure. Don't, don't ask me now where we No yeah. pressure. Yeah. So, like, we, we always say when, when they ask us about backstage stories and stuff like that, we always say like we're the most boring backstage band of all because if you want to play that kind of music, you can like I can have one beer before the show and that's it. So because if I have a second beer before You're the show, Ireland, man. Come on. yeah, I know, but it's like, <laughs> oh yeah. And by the way, I got some amazing presents. So two days. Yeah, but we, we can't drink too much before the show, and then sometimes you have a lot of... Because really I couldn't concentrate anymore, I wouldn't make mistakes, and then I would hate myself, so... Uh, we play nerdy music, so we also a little bit of music, nerdy, nerdy person. nerdy in the background as well. Really yeah. Ask the other bands, they will say the same. Like, Sebastian <laughs> always sitting there with his trumpet, tuck, 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 tuck. also after the show, he goes in the bus, sitting, sitting back in the background. I've seen tuck, the tuck, videos, tuck. yeah, I've seen the, the Instagram videos. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, that's it. Thanks very much right. for your time. Thank you. Thank you so much.